What's up, Flipsider? So, I just watched a trailer for the new, um, for Noah. It's a m new movie with Russell Crowe and Emma Watson and some other people, Anthony Hopkins. Um, and it's about Noah, the story of Noah. When God flooded the earth and Noah built an ark and the animals came on the ark. That story, and they're making it into a movie. And so I was curious to see what the trailer was going to be like. Not sure what I think about it, because if you guys have watched my videos for any time, you know that I believe that this actually happened. Um, because I'm, I believe every, the Bible, I believe it literally. But, um, see, when people make movies like this, it's, it's interesting because there was a lot of stuff in that trailer that obviously was not in the Bible. <laughs> because, um, they, they have to make it, they have to Hollywoodize it. And I'm cool with people taking, like, true stories uh, like, all these movies based on true stories, um, and spinning it in their own way, but when it comes to, like, Bible stories and stuff, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think it'll be, I mean, it'll probably be a good movie, but I wonder if by spinning, like, a Bible story into something, like, crazy, um, like, explosive, exciting, like, a guy, like, stuck a sword in the earth at one point, and, like, shot fire at people, and, um, I'm... <laughs> Even though, like, crazy stuff like that happens in the Bible, it, it is interesting to see how far people will take it. I mean, because, th obviously, the world getting flooded by rain isn't crazy enough, so they have to throw in more crazy stuff, but, like, um, I don't know. It's interesting, but the movie looks inter I don't know how else to say it. Um, I'm curious to see more of this, but, um... Like, The Passion of the Christ, if you guys have ever seen that, probably, like, the single most intense movie I've ever seen, and that was about a Bible story. It was about Jesus' crucifixion. Um, good movie, but not like a movie you, like, will go watch in your spare time. This is really intense. But, um, I know that people liked, like, the Ten Commandment movies, um, back in forever ago. But I'm interested to see how this is, because you don't really see a lot of movies based on Bible stories, like, ever, hardly. So... Uh, I'm interested to see more of this, uh, because it, it does look interesting. Anyway, um, what's been going on? I haven't vlogged in a while, sorry about that. Um, but, uh, I went, oh, the girls, okay, so girls semifinals for state was today, so the winner of the game got to go on to the state game, which is tomorrow morning, and Carson won, but it was so intense. It was like a crazy intense game. I haven't gotten so into a game in a really long time. Um, but jeez, Louise, it was so good. The, um, the They were playing against a Vegas team, uh, Coronado. Like, Coronado? That sounds right. But um, it's a really good game. It was a tie game for the majority of the game. Um, for the most of the first half and the entirety of the second half. And then they went to overtime, which is sudden death. And we scored like 30 minutes into overtime. It was crazy! It was so, I was so jacked up after the game. Just, I was getting really into it. But, um, so that that was cool. Um, so the girls' soccer team will be heading to state. Um, well, it's here. Um, uh, on our home turf, which is kind of cool because when they play up state up in the north, it's at our facility. When they play down south, it's a Vegas school. I don't know where. But, um, so we get to play on our home, own home turf for state, which is super cool. Um, so yeah, that's, I gotta work on a paper today, and hopefully work on a video, which would be awesome, and, uh, yeah, just wanted to talk about that Noah thing, because it is interesting, let's just, and I saw a trailer for Maleficent, um, yesterday, I guess, but, um, that looked interesting. No. Alright, hold on. What did he say? Do this crap at, what is this? Alright, hold on. See, okay, so... What it looks like, see, they're like, in the Bible, like, Noah's, like, chatting with God. He's like, God's like, hey, build an ark. And Noah's like, okay. And in this, it looks like he's, like, speaking cryptically through signs. And it's like a mystery. Like, what is Noah supposed to do? Um, I mean, so it's going to, obviously, it's going to be way different from the actual Bible story. But is it, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Post it in the comments. I kind of think it's cool. I want to think it's cool, but do I think it's cool? I don't know if I actually think it's cool, but it does look cool. But, um, anyway, if you guys have any interest in the, um, in the topic at all, post in the comments, let me know. In the horrible new comment section, which sucks completely, 
talk more about it tomorrow. I, I mean, I have to dedicate a whole vlog to just these stupid freaking new comments, which are just so frustrating. Um, I can't, I can't even keep up with comments on the channel anymore. I used to go every day and check new comments. I can't do that anymore. I can't monitor the comments on my own channel anymore. It's making me really, really upset that I can't go and see new comments. And, and, uh, mm. Okay, I'll talk about it more tomorrow. But anyway, leave a comment for this video and support the new comment system, right? Because what else are we supposed to do? <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already, because I haven't changed those. That's a lie they have, because they changed the stupid like bar on YouTube from green to blue. Stop changing stuff! Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the flip side.